Herzog. I want to say hi to my fans. Hi, how you doing? Thank you very much for having me. So what have you been up to lately, Jake? Tell me. Well, awesome. I've been working on promoting. Uh, we did our at least our third record at the end of last year with my with my group, and I just got back from Europe playing with uh, another band over there. And uh, we've just been kind of taking the music that we've been working on the past few years and perfecting it in a live setting. And that's what we're going to be bringing to the Does your band have a name, or is it just uh, like that's just uh, Jake Herzog or okay. Jake Herzog Trio. I used to play with the trio, so that's, uh, that's what we How would you describe today. your music? Uh, somewhere between Pat Metheny Group and U2 oh, and uh, Jimi Hendrix. And how long were you playing over in Europe? Uh, just a week. I was there for uh, about uh, two weeks uh, back. London, in Amsterdam, or just uh, Germany on Germany. that trip and Ireland on the previous trip. So uh, you're, you're doing some concerts back here now in the states, correct? Right? Yes. And uh, where are you going to be playing the 55 bars? I'm really excited because it's it always has a history of uh, being a place for guitar players. Mike Stern, and he, you know, that whole that whole school of, of uh, the sort of jazz rock guys coming from the late 70s. Is that Al Damiola and those guys? Or? Yeah, well, you know, Damiola and Pat Metheny and Mike Stern and John Schofield and John Abercrombie. Websites, so people know where to find you. It's uh, www.jakehertzog.com. And do you have a Facebook group page or? Definitely Facebook. Please uh, find us on Facebook. What about Twitter? Twitter, page. Twitter is uh, Jake Herzog Jazz. And then are you up in the iTunes Music Store? Or did they put yeah, it? we have all three of our records up there, and, and, and Spotify and all those the usual the usual digital music distribution places. Okay, so that'll be cool. So people know where to find you. So Definitely. where do you see stuff going down the road? Hopefully, just taking this group and touring worldwide uh, as much as possible. So. <laughs>
So that's a big thing for you, being the creative? And I think my mantra has always been try to be as creative as possible and the rest will follow. <laughs>
Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you very much. This is a, it was an exciting power trio group that uh, we came out with our first record last year called Freedom of Speech. And it's a partnership between myself and our bassist, Mitchell Caniff. And uh, so our first album came out last year. We did a lot of touring, a bunch of shows for that. And uh, we're excited to really have our first New York show this year and launch a what was going to be a brand new single that is a remix of one of our older songs from last year, uh, remixed by a great uh, Los Angeles-based uh, producer named Luanga Saman, who he did a lot of music for uh, Fast and Furious and several other large-scale films. And uh, we also have a guest star on that uh, single, which is the West Coast rapper Kali, who's uh, really incredible, talented young man. And uh, we like to describe our music as a mix between classic rock and uh, 90s alternative. So what you're about to hear on the remix is a mix between the classic rock, 90s alternative, and uh, I guess the, the current electro rock dance music trend. So when you say like classic rock, you mean like Nirvana, Soundgarden, Soundgarden, so you're saying 90s? Or? So we, I would say the classic rock like Cream or Jimi yeah. Hendrix Experience. Uh, okay. That's not quite 90s then. And well, and then we've got the 90s alternative, oh, which is the, you know, your Nirvanas and your, and your Soundgarden and your Smashing Pumpkins and your, all that stuff. So how'd you get into this from your jazz background? Uh, well, I always felt like uh, the singer-songwriter thing always appealed to me, and I always did that, and I always did jazz, and this, and the Young Presidents was kind of, came along at just the right moment when I was able to join another group and partner up with another great songwriter like Mitchell and uh, really get a chance to explore that a little bit. So over the past year and a half, almost two years of doing that band, it's really evolved from we started off as sort of a jam band because Mitch is, is quite heavy into jazz and jazz fusion as well as a bass player. So we started off as this jam band and then we got more and more into like writing pop songs and so that's what became the, the first record that we did, Freedom of Speech. Now the end. 
Stage, Jake Erzog, uh, winner of the competition in guitar last year. So please welcome Jake Erzog.
Thank you very much. We are thrilled to be here this evening. My name is Jake Herzog, and that was a tune called California Hills. The next song I'm going to play for you is a song called Monkey Stuff. <laughs> 